Hey guys, welcome back to the Fresh Media Podcast. Today's guest is Ike, and he is a filmmaker, producer, and director from Houston, Texas. Today we'll get the inside scoop on his upcoming project, the Red Box web series. So here we go. Hi, Ike. Thank you for joining me on the Fresh Media Podcast today. I'm so glad to get the chance to speak with you. Um, introduce, introduce yourself to the people. Tell them who you are and where you're from. First of all, it's a pleasure to be on the show. It's all good. It's all love. We out here to, to preach and share our journeys. Yes. Um, you know, what's up, everybody? I'm Ike, and I am a Houston-based director, producer, filmmaker, all of the above. Basically, a jack of all trades and You know, I've been working on this secret project for the past year and a half years, and it's just been kind of a big deal. So, you know, we're at a stage where we're ready to, we're ready to shine, we're ready to pop. So I'm on this podcast and, you know, I got a lot to talk about. So it's a beautiful day. Great vibes, great everything. You know, things look good. Well, yeah, we got the, we got the vibes. (laughs) The vibes, the wine. (laughs) <laughs> so like how did you find your love for filmmaking like were you always was it something you saw growing up that was like oh I want to do that or did it come later on look let me let me say something I didn't really I didn't really get into filmmaking until about college but um I'll say this so when I was a kid um I was just always I just love cartoons a lot. I'm not going to lie. I was that kid that I was on. I was surfing through Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network simultaneously. I was watching everything. And I was just like, man, I, I really love cartoons. I don't know why. It just felt like it was an escape from reality. And I used to, in my notebooks in, in grade school, I would just go to the back and just draw comic strips. So I had this whole comic series I was just drawing. I don't know how I was doing it, but I just loved to create. So I was doing that. And, you know, I was doing that for a while and that kind of translated to, okay, well, now I'm getting older, you know, now I'm in, I'm in college. I'm like, okay, so I just love creating. So what's a, a better medium to portray myself and my creativity? So when I got into filmmaking in college, I was like, you know, I was in classes here and there. And then I was just like, man, I want to just make something. So I just, I just felt like doing videos are just like the, the, the more mature way to kind of keep my um my creativity going. So I just started doing skits and, you know, I was on you. I was, I'm basically a YouTuber first. So I was, I'm like a YouTuber. I always tell people I'm a YouTuber because my style is just like YouTube. It's just, it's just, it's a, it's a specific format and it just works. And it's like, I just, it's like a it. more cinematic, more cinematic uh, YouTube yeah yeah i would say even yeah i would just say more cinematic so i was just doing youtube videos and i just felt like things were just looking good and i just dove into like real like just real filmmaking and i was just like okay let me try take a shot at this and things were looking good so i just kept going so nice so what what is the first project that that had you like wait I could do something. I, I could uh, do something. <laughs> What's okay, that uh, aha moment? <laughs> uh, so I was doing, okay, so I was kind of like, I was just making stuff just to go viral. I was just making funny stuff. And then one of my first really serious projects was this project about uh, a husband and a wife that were going through some marital issues and she ended up killing him. So I was like, wait a minute, like, wait, I, I can do this that's that's crazy so i just started to take my my art more seriously and just started to do more serious dramatic pieces and what i realized is that i have the i have the gift of blending different subgenres and film together and so i just kept developing and i just started making my own format and from there all those videos i was making kind of led me to the red box which we'll talk about in the in a, in a little bit and i was like wait a minute like i think i can i can take this risk so I just realized that I, you know, I have this gift of storytelling. Yeah, we will definitely talk about that in a minute because I have comments, okay? I have comments and I'm 
I need to see more. I need to see more episodes. Because I'm episodes. just like, I need to see more episodes. I need to see, like... <laughs> I we'll, don't... we'll get to it. We'll get yes, there. okay. Okay, so you, you found your love for filmmaking, and you... You're producing stuff for YouTube and you're blending genres. So what would you say? Would you say that your work is, would you say that there's somebody who inspires you, a certain genre, a certain filmmaker? Um, I know you said you liked cartoons a lot, but like, what would you, and I don't know, there's some people who don't like to be compared to anybody, but if you if you do, or if there's somebody that you just like idolize in filmmaking, like what what is it like? What kind of concepts do you take from them? Um, honestly, I kind of I kind of watch everything. So I've watched a whole bunch of films and TV shows, and I wouldn't really say there's an influence because my style is kind of unique to me in the sense that. My style is more like bringing a lot of people together. So I have this gift of bringing people from different personalities, different upbringings together and making art from it because people love uncertainty and people love randomness and unpredictability. So I feel like I just have the gift of just blending that in and making it work because I'm more of the person to where I want to appeal to everybody. You know, I want to make stuff that appeals to kids, that appeals to teenagers, that appeals to young adults, that appears to people in their 40s, grandparents. So I want to make stuff that's kind of general that people will, will love. Right. So I feel like I've, I've got bits and pieces from just about everybody, but I would just say I'm more self-motivated in that sense. Yeah. I love that. I love that because I feel like, especially if you're a creative person, I well, at least for me, and I know a couple other people <laughs> are inspired by, you know, the world around them the people yeah. in their life and I know as a filmmaker that's especially important when you are creating a story and from what I've seen you're an amazing storyteller and I feel like that comes from some kind of authenticity so okay let's get we got to get into it okay? let's, let's get into it let's get into it let's get into it I'm ready Okay, uh, for those of y'all who have not seen The Red Box, um, are they able to go and watch it yet? Okay, I'll say or... this. Um, I'll say this. We we did release an original version, but you know I made a lot of remasters to it. So I will say you can check it out on Amazon Prime and YouTube soon. Okay. So okay, very coming soon. soon. Yeah. Coming soon. And then coming. whenever, so whenever it releases... I Fresh Media Blog is gonna have the links. We are gonna post it. We're gonna be like helping Yo, I promote the Red Box because y'all, okay, I got the preview <laughs> and I was hooked. <laughs> I was like, wait a Girl, minute. Like what? I, okay, so okay, how can I not give away the plot? Um okay, first of all, <laughs> I think I was pissed off at um a couple of characters okay um her and if you go and look on your youtube i commented okay um <laughs> this this one i think it was episode two with mariah oh my gosh mariah i was like no she didn't <laughs> yes she did she did exactly what she thought she did she did all of that <laughs> oh <laughs> and then, I bet you weren't seeing that coming. And then why you at the episode right there? <laughs> <It's> like, <why? laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. She listen, uh y'all 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 go not, see. Not, I'm, she, I'm trying not to reveal here. stuff. She both for that. She both for what she did. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, before you continue, like I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna shout out all the actors. Um all the actors and crew involved. This is a fantastic project and everybody on this project is talented and I saw something in everybody. Everybody's unique in their own way. And I just felt like I had to, I was like, the glue. I had to put this together. So everybody did their thing on this. I did my thing, but more importantly, everybody else did their thing. So shout out to the team. It's all love. You know, we're all gifting. We're all talented. And this was a great project. So tell, could you, okay, without giving 
too much yeah. away. Um, could you talk about like how the idea of this project came about and yeah. basically like if you had any reasons why you wanted to do this and like what inspired you to even like write it and just let us know. Let us okay. Know. Okay. So basically um, I did. Okay. So I, I've done a lot of YouTube videos in the past, just skits, short films. I was just going out there. I just kind of had an itch to go out there and create something told me that I was just I just had to create. So I was just going out there doing all different kinds of ideas. And then it wasn't until COVID when we were all locked up, I was like, okay, what do I do next? I've done kind of like everything. I've done action, drama, romance, sci-fi. So I was like, okay, let me try to do us. Let me, let me think of an idea. Um, how about I make an idea about a, a mysterious object that a guy is trying to steal from a girl. He's trying to rob from her house. So it just kind of got like that. So the first episode was actually, like just a, a typical YouTube video. And what I realized is that people were like, wait a minute, this is good. So I'm like, wait a minute, y'all, y'all think this is y'all, y'all rocking with this. And then everybody was just vibing with it. This was in 2020. So I'm like, okay, bet, bet. So they're loving it. So I'm like, okay, we have to let, let, let's let this seed be planted. So I'm like, all right, let's just, let's give them more. Cause if people love something, you just got to give them more. So people love episode one. And where it was going, so I was like, "All right, let's let's get the band together. Let's make episode two. So we kind of have to develop more from two. Because I came into this project, I didn't even know, I had no idea of expanding it. So it's kind of like, okay, now we have to create a, a a sequel to episode one, and then with episode two, people loved where it was going. Okay, cool. Let's make an episode three. So it's kind of like we came into this. I we came into this project without um without like a a plan to expand it but because people wanted more we just had to keep giving them what they wanted so from two he went to three and then people loved episode three so we got to cap- keep up in ourselves so we did episode four and five simultaneously last year and this year we, we kind of shot it from 2022 to 2023 and so far things are looking magnetic like magnetic like the actors are a1 like mm-hmm. everybody did their thing behind the camera in front of the camera so it kind of feels like you're in a universe and that's kind of has that's kind of has been my thing just making a universe of people you know interacting with each other of different backgrounds and upbringings and just let, letting that happen naturally so right and it's yeah worked. i i think what i liked about it was like it was like it was i think all the characters First of all, um, great job at casting. Um, I think that all the characters, um, I like that their roles were very specific. Like you weren't thinking about like, like what's wrong with this dude? Uh, why is he flip floppy? Yeah. Like no, each character like had they their role. Yeah, they felt <laughs> yeah. like they were in their role, yeah. Yeah, I I really loved that. Like they they was acting, they was acting. They were and, just being <laughs> huh? They were just being themselves, and it just kind of felt like it fit. So yeah. I just let them do their thing. So about about your the creation of the film of the series, okay. um, I noticed some amazing cinematography. Um, whatever locations y'all were using. I was like looking at the credits at the end. I was like, okay, they got the producers looking at the locations. Cause like y'all, y'all did the thing. So like, how, how was that filming? Cause you know, when you're like independent and you're making your film, like you, you got to scrape and <laughs> you got to be resourceful. You have to be the most resourceful ever. Like, did you have a certain amount of funding or did people pitch in or? Um, so yeah, pe- some people pitched in, but you know, of course I had to put like over 95% of the bill because it's my project, but mm-hmm. you know, but in general, um, it was a very resourceful project because everybody had to do like more than they were required. Um, you know, like, yeah, I did most yeah. of the stuff, but everybody else kind of did their own thing. And we had to ask, we had to go above and beyond to get certain places get certain things certain props so you know it, i always tell people it was a team project because everybody did their thing you know yeah i was a director but everybody did their own thing things even things off script i was like wait a minute 
this is not going to script. I'm going to let you do your thing because yeah. they're like, everybody just became their character. Wow. So oh my yeah, gosh. So, so even wow. episode four and five that's coming out soon, you'll, you'll know it'll feel more natural because there was a lot of times where they were going off script. But I was like, wait a minute, y'all, y'all are the characters. So I'm going to let y'all do your thing. So everybody kind of chipped in in their way, but I saw something in everybody. So I was like, I have to let this happen. I have to let the seed be planted and, and bear fruit. Cause I was like, wait, if I see something that's that's taken off, that's going somewhere, I'm gonna let it grow. I'm gonna do everything I can to let it grow because there is talent on this project and this project is going places. And I saw something in everybody and everybody's talented. So I was just like, let's let it happen. Just let it happen. It, it was right. meant to happen. So. Wow. You know, that's beautiful, especially, I feel like that's, that speaks to you as a leader being able to um, delegate and be able to trust the people that you have acting and bringing your vision to life because especially like you're you're independent and you are creating this this is your baby okay and for you to give them this kind of freedom to like bask in their characters like I feel like that that's like next level. I feel like you've unlocked a different level. Okay. So I feel like there's only like you can only go up from here. You're letting these uh, actors the project like, is definitely going places. I've just been trying to just, you know, just let it happen. Like I've yeah. told people, like let it happen. Like we're not we're not trying to force stuff like we know is good, but just let it happen because if you try to force stuff, that's when you see complicated. Just it's it's gonna go places, but we just have to just, you know, just humble herself. Just yeah. let it happen. Yeah. yeah. Learn. So, um, so is there anything else that you want to say about the Redbox movie before we move on? We're going to near, we're going to near the end of the podcast soon, okay. but is there anything else you want to say about the Redbox? Um, so the Redbox was, um, it's, it's a very, it's very different. So, the thing is, like, people not, are not going to understand it until it's released, but when it's released, it'll make perfect sense. So it's been all over the place because there's just too much going on. There's too many characters. There's too many stories, like, sub-stories, main stories, to where mm -hmm. people are confused. So it's one of those projects that is it's, it's destined for greatness, but everyone just has to wait till it's released. But, you know, we, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing with Listen. this. Or, where we're going to stand out, and it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. It's gonna be it's gonna be well received. It's gonna be something that's relatable by kids, teenagers, adults. You know, the kids will definitely love it because it's science fiction. So we know what we're doing. We're we're doing something different. We're trying to go different route from everybody else. So it's y'all just have to be patient. It's gonna be a miracle when it comes out. You know, it's it's taking so long because good things take time. So, right. Oh, yeah. and and you can speak like good things take time it shows because you, you guys care about the quality of the work you're doing. And Production quality is king. That's, that's definitely. And true. I was like, wait a minute, cinematography. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all snapped at that. And like the editing and like the effects. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, the fight scene. I commented on that too. The fight scene. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, I don't know how long it took to get this choreography together but nah, that that was like that was like a whole different like so it, it literally felt like every kind of like every scene like every character kind of like we have to go into their world and kind of learn from them so the fight scene was like you know shout out to to mark dong because he was a fight coordinator he's an amazing stunt choreographer and you know it kind of felt like when we were practicing with that i had to literally put on my fighting clothes we had to go to this dojo we had to learn stunts how to not injure people. So it kind of felt like I was learning about people as I was doing this. So that's why it looks so amazing because it's all natural, you know. Like yeah. they're the people that coordinated with me to do this, they're all talented. So wow. it, it was amazing journey. Yeah. It, it was that's amazing. I feel like that that much effort and care that you take into that's that's yeah. like an even deeper part of the research to even get that because I was like, hold on a second, these people like they they really the, going they going the, for it. They risking yeah. it all. They exactly in the span of three and a half years, it's it took three and a half years to incubate. 
Right now we're ninety nine point nine percent done, but it took three and a half years to incubate this. So it was like a lot happened, a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs. But that's what comes with climbing up the mountaintop. You gotta go through the highs and the lows. But you know we're just glad that it's basically done, virtually done. We have like a little, like just barely a little bit left, and it's, it's out. So I'm just excited. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I, I look forward to the film being released and I'm going to promote it like crazy yeah. <laughs> anywhere we can. Um, I do want to ask you as far as um, any future project, projects um, in filmmaking or if it's another kind of artistry, um, do you have any other projects coming up besides the um, Red Box release? Honestly, I'm just, I'm in the point where I've been doing this for almost 10 years. So I'm just going to kind of low-key retire. Oh. And we'll see. Like, if, if things take off, I'm back. But I, I feel yeah. like at this point, like, I'm going to let the art do the talking because of, right. like, you know, I've worked so hard. You know, everybody's done their job. Like, everybody's done good. So I'm just going to let the art do the talking. And, you know, hey, if if the people want it, want more, then we're back. You know right. what I'm saying? But I feel like it's it's imminent that I come back. But you know, right now I need to enjoy my um just like me time and just life in general. I, I mean, like, you do deserve to rest. Exactly. <laughs> now, have you considered um any film festivals, submitting it to film festivals? Yeah, that's that's literally the immediate plan. So I feel like um right now, as soon as this is done, I'm gonna just keep like machine gun and and which ones every, like is it li like literally everyone everyone so it's not even the film it's a web series first of all it's like a tv series oh so. i'm sorry i keep on saying i keep that on saying fine. film but it's a but whole it series like y'all like there's but yeah it's not, there's I'm, episodes gonna, okay but yeah. it to me when i watched it it was like that's nah, fine it was like a film i was invested okay yeah. i'm so sorry it is so serious. our plan, yeah, our plan is um as many film festivals as possible. I'm pretty sure they're going to love it. But what people didn't realize is that this series was designed to go viral. So every character, every scene, every line, everything we've done, it was designed to go viral. So that's just how my YouTube, my YouTube channel has been. Everything I've done, it was designed to go viral. So we know what we're doing with this and we know that it's going to be seen. It's only a matter of time. So everything we we've, we've been doing was designed to just go viral. So you'll see when it comes out. Is in the in a couple of weeks it's out. So yeah, you'll see. Well, I can't wait because I really want to finish the series. So I'm like, yeah. I feel like I'm on a cliffhanger. Yeah. I'm like, look, episode four and five. Watch it like when you're when you're depressed. Watch it when you're sad. Watch it when you're happy. Watch it when you're angry. <laughs> it, it's designed to give you signs of euphoria like every scene is like an art piece like i would say this like four and five are so good put it in the museum you know and shout out what? To, no shout out shout out to the writers though shout out to like the people that helped me write one to five you know because it was a collaborative effort i'll never say i did this alone because i believe in working as a team you know so i'm just gonna say that <laughs> so yeah it's, it's it's just good you know and i'm trying to be humble but of course, like I have to give credit where credit's due. Yeah. It's good. good. It's good well, television. That's, that's beautiful. Um what okay, you said you might retire, but I doubt that. Okay. Um <laughs> I feel like you might take a break and then you're gonna come out with something else super awesome. Cause this was cool. Like it's so cool and refreshing. Um Especially, say, yeah. especially coming out of Houston, I think. So, like, yeah, I feel I really like it's very, it, like, yeah. stuff like this, you just need to keep making more. <laughs> like, when I released time. episode three, I, I was getting death threats. I was like, people were, like, telling me, hey, where's more? Like, people are threatening me to make more. Like, oh and I, I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, people are, like, harassing me, like, bro, where's more? That's that's why I keep going, because if as long as people love the product, we got to keep giving them what they want. So I'm telling you, like four and five are gonna make you want even more. So right right now, I'm low key retiring, but I know people are gonna start asking for more episodes. So well, you know what? You yeah. could you could quote unquote retire and then spend that time 
just yeah. like writing and gathering <laughs> the next, you know, yeah. whatever comes next. Um, exactly. So the last thing I want to ask you is, what do you want your legacy to be as a filmmaker or as an artist? Um, somebody that never gave up, um, for sure. I, like I said, I've been doing this for almost 10 years and they dated back to college. Um, you know, and I know we went to the same college, but you remember when there was like different activities going on, like different protests, different gatherings. I yeah. started off just with my, my Samsung Galaxy. Like, of course I have an iPhone now, but with my Galaxy, I was like over there recording stuff. I was just there in the background recording stuff. I was like, okay, let, like what's going on? I was just making documentaries. And then from there, I just felt like, okay, maybe it's time to start making more relatable content. So I would just say, I want to be remembered as somebody that never gave up, that went, that saw things through to the end, that never backed down and never let anybody control him, that got his vision out and that made people feel happy when they saw his, his project. You know what I'm saying? So like never, ever give up, you know, the, the road is, is hard at times, but you just have to keep going because you never know what's going to come of it. Like you can't stop. You know what I'm saying? So you just can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. I love that. Stop. And <laughs> I love that. That's really beautiful. And thank you for being um, just a light, um, shining that positivity. Light. Keep on light shining it. Bro. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Um, well, uh, tell everybody where they can find you at, where, where they can be, where they can follow you and stalk you. Okay. So <laughs> don't give my, your personal info if you don't okay. want to be stalked. So, stalked. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I have a, I have a, I have, I have body of work beyond besides the red box. So if you want to see my old stuff, go to my YouTube channel at Ike TV. And that's not with a space. So I can eat TV. You can see my old stuff. You can see the progression. You can check out my old stuff there. And then follow the follow the, the series page on Instagram at D Redbox series. So you can kind of see like more in-depth stuff about the series itself. And then my personal page is Ike360. So that's how you can find me and my pages. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Ike. I appreciate it. All love. Red box coming soon. Coming soon to your TVs. Coming soon. All right. Peace out. Um, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast today. Please follow us on social media on Instagram and Facebook at Fresh Media Blog. You can also visit our website at www.freshmediablog.com.